help me remember what happened. never partied this hard in my entire life for six days straight back to back. If you're looking to wake up this inner party animal dying to come out, you better get to Temptation. Temptation is an adult-centric, all-inclusive, yes, the alcohol is definitely included, resort with exclusive topless sections. You really get to enjoy this whole new sense of freedom that you will have never experienced before. Plus, I should also mention that it is a Mexican-owned resort. The age range was actually very broad across the board, starting from 21-year-old groups to approximately people in their 60s partying way harder than my boyfriend and I till 5 or 6 in the morning. The majority of the guests that were there during our stay were many couples, girls getaway trips, and bachelor boy parties for sure. First of all, let me educate you to say that this resort is a lifestyle friendly resort. What does that mean? Gay, straight, lesbian, swingers, trans, queer, everybody is welcome to be their utmost genuine selves with no judgment. The intention of coming to this resort is not to just swing. That is not what it is all about. However, if you would like to spice things up with your party of X amount of people, you are more than welcome to and will definitely have the opportunity to. Every single person that we met was super fun, extremely respectful, and was definitely there just to party and have a really good time. No, my boyfriend and I are absolutely not swingers, but we had an amazing time just learning about the lifestyle from many couples that we did speak to, and we had a very sexy time during our stay, for sure. We booked our vacation through Expedia.com about one month before our trip. We stayed seven days and six nights, which I believe was the perfect amount of time to enjoy all of the opportunities that the resort has to offer, including our flight, stay, and all-inclusive benefits from the resort. We paid approximately $1,600 for just the two of us. We also booked our transportation to and from the airport through Expedia.com. The process was super smooth sailing once you were able to find the correct agent at the Cancun airport. And the ride was approximately 20 to 25 minutes to temptation. This was my first trip during the pandemic and I have never seen JFK so empty in my entire life that I've lived here. However, nothing felt extremely uncomfortable. They do a standard temperature check everywhere you go. You fill out a QR code questionnaire to make sure you haven't been in contact with anyone during the last two weeks with COVID and et cetera, et cetera. Finally arriving at the resort, I love that they disinfect your street shoes before you enter into the building. And I have never been welcomed by a staff so kind and excited for you to be there. They really make you feel like you're their friends by the end of your stay. The resort itself has this very high electric energy that has a super bright and modern interior design. 
But speaking of a unique design, let me take you to our room. Your room key is a very discreet waterproof bracelet that stays on your wrist the entire time during your stay. We originally booked the trendy garden view that had a very roomy king-size bed and a luscious view of the garden front. The restroom was just perfect for two and we absolutely loved the modern design. But then we got a phone call to our room. They completely surprised us and gave us a free upgrade to the Bash Oceanfront View. to tour the penthouse suite on the ocean front view. culinary experience with seven restaurants, an around-the-clock snack bar, and a gourmet cafe to keep you alive during your stay. Rain is an all-day buffet where you will normally start your day with breakfast. The resort food was beyond my expectation and tasted fresh and made the morning of. And as a COVID-friendly service, a staff member personally serves you at the buffet to prevent any cross-touching of food and beverages. Flame is a casual five course meal steakhouse with rich and fulfilling bites. You can pay extra for premium wines, but we were actually very impressed with the house blends. Sutra is a reservation-only hibachi-style restaurant that is perfect for a large amount of people. Our chef was definitely entertaining and the food just fabulous. Amores is definitely one of my top recommendations, especially with your significant other for a very intimate and romantic evening. And the last restaurant that we were able to squeeze into our itinerary was Romanza, which was definitely our absolute favorite for ambiance, aesthetic, and the taste. So much so that we actually went twice. Thank 
consultation, our only plan was to make no plans with the exception of drinking and dancing from dusk till dawn. After we would finish breakfast, we immediately made our way to the sexy pool for all day festivities hosted by the Playmakers. Playmakers were definitely the best part of our experience at this resort. They are a team that hosts all of the poolside contests during the day and definitely get the party started at night. Many of them are professional dancers, models, and very playful entertainers. Just a side note to protect everyone's privacy, the security were super strict about taking photos in the sexy pool area, so my photos are very limited. Like I said before, if you are shy, this resort is definitely not for you but I do recommend participating in as many contests and activities as possible. My boyfriend and I are not shy to participate and that included a pole dancing contest, the sexiest couple award, and if I could get a drum roll, please. Miss Temptation is a weekly contest that the resort hosts every single month. Four women are chosen each month and then an online poll is conducted to pick one monthly winner. So as in Miss August, Miss September, Miss October, etc. And then the monthly winner will get to fly back with flight paid for, resort and all-inclusive paid for, in January to participate in the annual Miss Temptation contest. I would so, so, so love to go back to this resort for another crazy wild experience. So please go ahead and I will drop the link below to vote for me for the month of September. But just for winning for the week, they gifted me a cabana for the day with a bottle of Moet champagne, as well as a gift certificate to their spa, which I absolutely loved. I'm not going to give away too much of what I did to win this grand prize, but I will say that there is a lot of role play involved and a very sweet treat. Temptation definitely is not just party, party, hardy. You do have the option to go to the quiet pool section if you wanted to take a break from all the action. But honestly, I don't think you can. I might need a shot to remember what I did, what happened. Oh God. Seductive, exhilarating, and intoxicating, but in the best way possible, if you know what I mean. So looking into the resort, we didn't know how hard people commit into doing costumes and dressing up for the theme nights, but they do. Let me tell you that if you love to commit to a theme, this place is for you. Like this is your jam. Every single night at the Bash Outdoor Lounge, there is a dress up theme that is fun, super sexy, and very playful. You can definitely preview their theme nights ahead online. I just recommend bringing your best lingerie, rhinestones, fishnets, literally everything that you have. Our favorite theme nights were the neon party, which is hosted at the sexy pool on Saturday nights, the lingerie lounge, and definitely 
the toga party. The playlists are super diverse from reggaeton to salsa, bachata, even top 40 hits from the early 2000s. Also, the DJs are super relaxed about taking requests and will definitely throw your songs into the mix. Before the party gets started, I do recommend leaving like the pool area at around six or seven to take a nap for about an hour or two. Make your dinner reservation for around nine and then the party usually starts at around 10, 10.30 and goes till 2 a.m. Also, let me remind you that the snack bar goes till 2 a.m. This place is literally accident free. During your stay, I do recommend trying to find people to make friends with that have the black uh, wristbands because that means they are VIP, which also means that they are probably staying in nicer rooms and host all of the after parties after the bash lounge. If you are not already convinced enough to take the wild ride on this vacation, here are some pictures that I was able to sneak in despite some of the rules. Down below, I'm going to link the most wild excursion that the resort has to offer. Based on the title alone, it is called the Boobs Cruise, and I would only book this excursion with caution, a bottle of tequila, and all of your cares have to be left behind. The only thing that I will say about this cruise is that if you think you really know your friends before this trip, you don't. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this little insight of Temptation Resort and hopefully you will all be able to book your vacation there soon. We had the most incredible time and I can only hope that you will race yourselves for a very exciting, sexy journey there. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see all of my fun vacation pics. And also please don't forget to look at that link below to vote for me for the month of Miss September for the annual Miss Temptation contest. I hope I was also able to give you an amazing visual experience of what the resort is like. Please drop a comment below what your favorite part was or if there's anything else that I can answer. Feel free to DM me on Instagram. I'd be more than happy to fill you in with even more details. Have an amazing week and don't forget to subscribe to Sophia Sarlat.